Hey guys, this is Chase, that guy with the gloves, and I'm doing a quick update video just to show you what I've acquired recently, and, you know, give you guys an update on Meltdown, and, well, Chi Chi's going to join me. She's kind of right there, just observing everything, seeing what's what. So, first thing, we could look at Loot Crate, but I know you guys don't want to see that right now. I recently got... A package in the mail. Stop chewing on that. Just chewing on the wall of my arena. It's not. That's not okay. In fact, you turn away. Okay. So let's see who I acquired just recently. Oh, there went the belt. And we have the ringside collectibles. Shawn Michaels. Don't have the package, which is not that big a deal. But I mainly just wanted the figure. It's a pretty badass figure, cannot wait to do a review of it. Also came with the classic IC title. You can always use more of those. Let's see, who else be in here? Lots of bubble wrap. I have acquired another Elite 16 Diesel. I really wanted to get another Diesel mainly because I don't think we are ever going to see another figure anytime soon of him. We'll see some newer Kevin Nashes, maybe a new NWO one sometime, or one with like an updated attire. Yeesh. Um, be kind of cool to see a 2003 Kevin Nash. That'd be pretty awesome. But I wanted another Diesel so I can make one with his uh, black attire with the black tank top and I wanted to paint some like silver studs on his pants and maybe redo the tassels to be silver as well. So, yep, thank you very much to the person I uh, bought these from on, what was his name? It was Rad Junk For You on Instagram. So I got Diesel with his Winged Eagle title. And, well, I can't really do this with one hand. There you go. Da -na -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -na. Na, 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 na. So I got the two cool dudes with attitudes. Is that who it was? Yeah, two cool, two cool dudes with attitudes. Underrated tag team, if I must say. I was kind of happy watching these guys win the tag titles way back when, and when they had pretty much just like all the belts. It was a pretty cool era in uh, WWF TV. So yeah, thank you very much, uh, Rad Junk, for you. Give you a shout out and everything. Let everybody know that you are an ideal seller on Instagram. Thanks again. So we'll set those guys down. Let's have a look at what came in this month's loot crate. As you can tell, I'm not doing, I'm not going to do loot crate unboxings uh, separately anymore just because I kind of put a lot of time and effort into them. They're not getting the views I want and I know it takes a while to build up that kind of response from people, but I want to get back to doing animating and reviews. So we're just going to group in uh, loot crate for mailbag and stuff like that. Got this uh, Pokemon hat. I'm not really big into wearing something like this, and neither is my fiance, so probably end up on eBay. Same thing with this. This loot crate was unfortunately a bust. Got this uh, little Hot Wheels type car. Um, it's, the super, it's the car from Supernatural, which I have not seen this show yet. I hear good things, but yeah, this car is not really for me. I think the only thing I did enjoy in this loot crate was this uh, Homer Simpson Buddha thing, which apparently it's a super rare item. They're going for quite a bit of money on eBay. I would sell mine, but he didn't come with his little accessories. He's supposed to have like a beaded necklace and a donut or a pretzel or something in his other hand. And the guy, I talked to somebody on uh, Loot Crate and they said, oh, it's supposed to be in here. Well, it's not, sir. And then we got whatever the hell this thing is. It's uh, for a game. It's for a Blizzard game. Which one is this for? Is this for like Hearthstone or something? I don't I don't know. Don't know, don't care. And then we have an actual thing from Hearthstone. It's this looks like more like something I'd see on uh, Avatar the Last Airbender or Legend of Korra. So again, another eBay item. Blah. And here's a little magazine for it. Now I heard some somebody saying that Loot Crate. What? What is she doing? What are you doing? Gigi! Stop! She's over here going crazy! 
Jeez. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's all that was here from the Loot Crate. I mean, this is probably yeah, one of their one of their more disappointing boxes. This is the, actually the second time I've been disappointed with Loot Crate. I wasn't too happy with their uh, board game one that they had a couple months back. Ever since then, they've been pretty solid, especially with that sci-fi one with the Terminator stuff and the last couple ones with them being like heroes and villains. I got a good mixture of stuff, but I understand that every once in a while I'm going to get hit with something that's kind of lame. This one was just something where it was like, wow, I really didn't like anything in this loot crate. So that sucks. So I finally acquired the Defining Moment Sting with his packaging. Now, how did I do this? I entered a contest from at Jerry Horror on Instagram, Tumblr, um, his YouTube channel. I don't, I, I don't know if that's his YouTube channel, but he has a show on there called Blu-ray on a Budget. Really awesome. He's a great guy. Big fan of the show. Anyway, I entered a giveaway contest, and he was giving away this figure, so I just happened to win it. I basically won on the same day when um, Captain McKay Random had his uh, Godzilla giveaway, which was super badass. And also, he included this uh, WWF, WWE, Attitude Era magazine, and it's badass. The posters inside are cool. And I also got these uh, monster-themed uh, stickers, Mad Balls. Wow, that sounds like an STD you might get. I got a case of the Mad Balls, honey! Anyway, yeah, these are really cool. Definitely horror-themed, because, you know, Jerry Horror. Um, it also included a card saying, you know, please give Sting a better home than in TNA. Which, I think some people would argue with you right now and saying, please give Sting a better home than WWE, because, damn, son. But, you know, what are you going to do? He's 56 years old. He's still a badass, though. Here's something I've been wanting to show off for a while. I've been, want, I've been asked to do tutorials and stuff like that for stop motions, but I just haven't had the time. I'm going to do one sometime. Here's something I do. I have fishing line here, and instead of tying knots, I actually take some epoxy or some milliput, and I kind of put them together using this thing. I still tie a knot, but they come loose, so I started doing this. And it works really well, so like if you want a handle, instead of having to hold on to the strings, and I lose my strings all the time, so this helps me find them, so that's something I'd recommend you guys do. Lastly, we have here a custom NXT um, FCW Seth Rollins. This is for Wad Figs. He uh, traded me those... Um, those figures that I had in the last mailbag, the, uh, the Undertaker Custom and the Legend Series Macho Man. So I'm going to be showing this off soon in a new video. As soon as Meltdown's up, Meltdown's the priority. That's what I've been doing. I'm I'm almost there, you guys. It is getting it's getting down to the wire. It's going to happen. Just, you know, be a little bit more patient and you're going to see it very soon. So this was Chase from Burnout Inc., that guy with the gloves. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow all my social media accounts, keep up on what I'm doing. And I'll see you next time. Yeah!